The minority in parliament has served notice to halt the environment, science and technology and lands and natural resources ministers before the Mines and Energy Committee over the missing excavators. Ranking member on the Mines and Energy Committee, Adam Mutaukilu, says the president must take responsibility for the mess and not the six suspected persons arrested. The president fight against Galamse was a ploy to get rid of the ordinary Ghanaian who uses who and catalysis to mine and to pave way for big wigs of the party to take over the illegal mining or what we call Galamse. Now, today we are talking about the vanishing of excavators and matters arising. First, let me discuss the excavators. If you follow the Minerals and Mining Act, as amended in 2015 under President Mahama, Section 99.5 is clear as to where a seized excavator or confiscated excavator should be put. It stated clearly that when equipment or products, product means uh, semi-processed gold, or any other uh, mineral, should be kept under the custody of the police. And in this case, the law was put aside and the minister, Professor Frepo uh, Mbwati, decided to have his own law as to where the excavators should be put because of the intention to ensure that these excavators get vanished. What is the minority going to do? As far as we are concerned, we will first of all push for the minister, both the reform party and the minister for lands and natural resources to appear before, before us. La, to appear before us, that's one. The Two, the committee, the, house. the committee. But the chairman isn't around. Two, we would like to have clear evidence why they breached the law. And three, why he has not resigned. And why the president, also the president responsibly, why he has not fired him. And that tells you the interest President Nana Kufuado has in the illegal mining that is going on. He is benefiting greatly from it. And as indicated, How? benefiting. How? His 2020 election, <laughs> having to head they are doing this to support the party towards 2020 campaign.